was that? The Ups truck. Ups. Ups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's my package. I got it out there for the neighbor steal it. Thanks, Ups, man. You rock. Yeah. He's going off to deliver more happiness. We just got a package, we just got a package, we just got a package, what do you miss from? McPherson's Crafts.com mm -hmm. Stop and read, inspect within seven days of receiving, protect final doll parts, and transfer any Color mediums, this is not dark parts. All right. What the, what the, what the heck? Look at all this, all this watered up plastic in the top. I think they gave me, they was nice and they gave me a thing. And before we get into this box, I wanted to make a, a, a point I wasn't aware of. As of November the 1st, 2022, in order to get free shipping from McPherson's, you have to buy $130 worth of merchandise or products. Before it was $100, but now, as of November 1st, to get free shipping, it's $130. Alright, let's carry on. They have gave me some uh, pieces to practice on. I don't know what. We'll look at that in a minute. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at it. It's a thing of beauty. Why did they mix my painting with my thin and medium and matte varnish? I was hoping they had uh, separated it out, but they did not do that. I want to come back. I, I can't focus. It's all mixed up, jumbled up. My mind is not focused that way. I'll be back. I pull out the camera. Of course, they stop. What's he doing? Hi, hi, hi. Knock it off. He's only ever messing with my tree. See, the, the rope lighting's all, all wonky. That's, that's him. That's all he's doing. Anyway, let's look at my candle day haul. Ooh, candle day haul. I got this one. Tis the season. Peppermint sugar cookie. Uh, vanilla bean oil. Um, twisted peppermint. It's a, there's a caramel one here. A marshmallow, something other. <laughs> uh, there's a chocolate one. That's an exclusive. I don't, I don't know. What was that one? Mm. Uh, winter candy apples. It's like a candle says. This one is a. Uh, what is this? Uh, citrus and snowflakes. Uh, look at this one. And this label beautiful. It's another version of the, uh, this season. Uh, this is like uh, Christmas cookies. Cookies with Santa or something. And then we got, we got this one. Just cause the package is pretty. It's red. You wait, wait, those aren't candles. Oh, that's right. <laughs> They're not candles. It's a uh, thin and medium and matte varnish. But each one of these containers is like uh, almost $5. What are you doing? What are you doing? No. What are you doing? $4.99. Four ninety nine and use the candle day prices are like ten bucks. So each one and the right there's a candle. <laughs> there's a candle. Anyway, you get the you get the point. Alright. That would be a 
uh, what would it be? A crate of candles if you get two crates of candles if you get let's see, you get, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, two crates of candles worth. We got two crates of um, Bath and Body Works candle date candles right there. I'm just joking. Although I am just kind of serious when I thought. <laughs> It's hard to believe that this right here, this little haul right here, has a hundred and thirty one dollars and seventy four cent. But you know. Yeah, I got enough uh matte varnish and denim medium to last me for a while. So I'm just gonna sit tight and wait for wait for a little, um another heat sick paint to uh, come out that I'll let the other ones go first. That the other artists are saying it was really good. So, um, now it's to be noted that this is supposed to be heat set at a different temperature, which I don't know off the hand, right off the hand, I'll come back. All right, so we go up on McPherson's. McPherson's. You can go over here to paint supplies. See, paint supplies, where's the mouse? Judas's Petite says, is what we got. And then, uh, Right there is what we bought right there. I don't want to add a cart. I don't know what's doing it. <laughs> it's like, add a cart, add a cart. I think I got enough for right now, Genesis. But thank you anyway. Genesis Matte Varnish Petite New Formula. I want to just look at it. I want to buy it right now. I bought some. And honey pops up. Let's scroll on down. Alright, here it is. Please note the difference of the new formula is in the heat set temperature. Now, when I bought it before off Dolls by Sandy, she didn't have this listed, or the company didn't have it listed. I don't know why I assumed Sandy was a girl, but Sandy could be a dude. The new formula cures at 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. If the new formula is heated to 265, which I did, as the old formula requires, then it may cure a bit more shiny than usual. Mm -hmm. We are told that the original and the new formula can be mixed, but it had to be cured at a higher temperature than 265. If used alone, then it can be cured at 180 to 200 Fahrenheit. Okay. Same time as 8 to 10 temperatures for both mixed together. All right, so there. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hang on a minute. All right, coming back over to the store again. We were going to scroll down first. I went too far. All fantasy kits and products. I think that's what we need right there. And then we uh, scroll back up to. Now I keep clicking on that one, but it says sets. That's not the one you want. This is the all fantasy heat set paint. Click that one. And here's the ones that Bean Shanine helped create. Now I bought, let's see, I bought this black one, Pegasus Black here, which it doesn't have anything about it anymore. I mean, it used to have some kind of little burb about what it looked like, but it doesn't say anything. It says, this new product is a joint effort between Bean, Sh Shanine Bean, I don't know why I call her Bean Shanine, I say her name backwards apparently, of oh, the twist of Bean Falcon Curison's. It says we are the beginning stages still, however, we have many existing cool ideals. We d will do our utmost to get done sooner than later. But, all right, whatever. All right, fine, fine. See, I bought some of that. Now this is six dollars. Now it has like glitter or something going on in it when it says I don't remember. I mean, Bean showed it on her channel, but I can't remember. You know how my memory's going. All right, what else I get? Oh, over here is what else I bought. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna, no, that's, that's it. I don't think that's it. That's not it. Go back. You just clicked on the one, wrong one. Clicked on the wrong one. Callie made a mistake. It's this one, see. It was that one. It was, uh. I don't know. I clicked on it again. Hang on. 
Kelly's having a rough day. All right, we was on the wrong page. It's the second page. I, I got this right here. <laughs> I'm sure this time. Third time's charm, man. This is Fantasy XS Heat Set Paint Thermo Red. I see it right there. Uh, uh, I'll, we'll look at it in a minute a lot. <laughs> anyway, also six dollars. <laughs> oh, this paint costs so much. This is uh, well, you could probably read that. The heat set paint is non-toxic temperature reactive paint for reborn. The paint color will disappear as it is exposed to heat and will become vibrant when exposed to cold. And then it tells you to uh, stick it in the refrigerator before you heat set it, heat set it in your oven and make sure that's the color you're looking for. So you won't be getting a nasty surprise. <laughs> Anyway, let me put the light on it. Where's the light? Oh. So, uh, yes, yeah, thermo red. That's what we got right here. Let's see. And then we got, uh, yeah. Alright, so I screwed the lid so we can get a good looky loo. Now, here's that black one. Mm. Pegasus black. Look how. Look how sparkly it is. It's like a universe and there's a little star sparkling. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. It's like glistening. Now, uh, you probably don't want to use a lot of this. Um, I think Bean says to uh, this kind of added to see uh, uh, details. Do detail work with it. You know, I don't want to use it all I want. I think it'd be, be pretty. Anyway. And then the, the red here, the thermo red. Thermo red. But you can't really tell anything about that. It looks like a melon. Melon color, don't it? Nothing special to look at about that one. I'm going to compare the sizes of the ones, uh, the matte varnish I got uh, that dolls by Sandy and the McPherson's matte varnish, the size of the jar. So uh, hang on, I'll come back and look at that. Alright, so uh, I got these from dolls by Sandy and look how much product you get. And these are from McPherson. So even though it looks like a lot, it really isn't. So, one of these may, may be enough to uh, seal like a, a couple of them Sphinx kittens. I can use not quite half for uh, the two Sphinx I did. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So, one of these might do two Sphinx. So just be mindful of uh, how, how big your product jar is. So you're like, wow, you got a lot right No, not really. So cut it by about half. So, so, uh, so it's really like six, six of this size. So anyway, we still have enough to uh, do us over until, so we still got like uh, these, these ones. We we still have enough product to uh, last us until another company steps up to the plate. And it makes a, a socially conscious product that favors the sculptors. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that. I don't know what words to use sometimes. I'm, mm, that sounds pretty good. Socially conscious product that is good for the sculptors. Yes. Alright. I'm not shaming anyone. So don't start. Alright, there we go. 
or just looking at my candle hall. Mm, it's so pretty. Alright. I'm gonna lay down now. I've had a long day. Yes, a long day. Bye, beautiful people. It's time for us cats and kittens to give us a bath and a nap. Right? Yeah, a bath and a nap. Oh, I forgot to show you what was in the your plastic baggie. It's uh, just two pieces of scrap vinyl that you can use to... Uh, practice on and then I got this uh, I think it's what is this called <laughs> a Shelly Marie heat set agent and this is a half an ounce uh, but they sell it in four and eight ounces I believe let me look let's look his leave together let's take the flash off so yes, it comes with four or eight ounces right there. Yes, there it is. Anyway, it it talks about having like being a, like a thin medium, but at the same time it has mat matting. So I don't know. It, see, it says right there, it does have matting properties. So. So we'll have to look more into this. There's a video here at the bottom. It says, we have a video to show you how it works so well with so many types of paints, including, of course, Genesis from both original and new formula. It works well with both. That's kind of redundant, right? Anyway, whatever. So they sent me this sample size. So, um, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll give it a whack to see how it works out. I guess that's what the vinyl's for, so you can uh, test it out on your vinyl and see how it does. Before you put it on your actual kit and ruin it. <laughs> you have to strip it down and start again. Alright, I'll pull the camera up. Alright. What you doing, man? Hmm. Making myself handsome. Oh, you are a handsome boy indeed. Yes, handsome. Bye bye.